Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm going to show you, now this is a two part video. If you have not seen it yet, this is part number two. This is how to make this little short cardigan or bolero or whatever to go over this dress. So if you want to make this dress, you have not seen it yet, I will put a link to the dress below in the comment section. And I will also put a link to it on the screen right now. But remember, this is video two. Video number one is the dress. Video number two is the short sweater to go over it. So right now we are working on the sweater. So go ahead and undo it and get this dress out of the way. This is what the dress looks like if you haven't seen it yet. It's pretty cute. So this is for this little sweater. It's short, but I will mention in the video that you can definitely make it longer if you want to. I just made it short since it's going over the dress. It only has one little button here to hold it, hold it together at the top. You can always put more if you want. It's actually really easy, pretty much. It's all double crochet. A little bit of shell stitches here. So let's go ahead and get started on it. Okay, for this project, I am using Gazelle XL Baby Cotton. This is from Hobium Yarns. It's a 50% acrylic, 50% cotton blend, and it is a medium weight number four yarn. There are 114 yards per ball. And let's see, I went through about three of them well, not not even three of them so probably like 200 not much to make the sweater uh 250 275 to make the sweater and unless of course you want to make it longer then you're going to need uh more because that's always an option if you want to make the sweater longer um but if you want to make it like me 275 maybe uh three Two, three balls will do it so and then um i'm going to be using now it's for two sizes um like the dress you follow the same pattern but you just use a different hook so if you want it for 18 months to 2t you will use a h which is a five millimeter crochet hook and if you want it for a size 3t slash 4t which is what i'm making you're going to use an I, which is a five and a half millimeter crochet hook. And I'll put um, the link to where you can get this. It's not an affiliated link. I don't make any money off of it. I'll just, it's just a link to where you can get this if you want to use this yarn. And I'll also put the sizing information below um, for the hook sizes. And as always, I like to mention, if you're not subscribed to my channel, if you look in the lower right hand corner there, if you could go ahead and click that subscribe button, I'd really appreciate it. That way you'd never miss any of my video videos or anything like that. Also, if you like this cardigan, cardigan and the dress that goes with it, if you could give this video a big thumbs up, um, that also helps me out a lot too, and I'd appreciate that. So we're going to go ahead and start out with a um, chain of 53. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do a single crochet in the second stitch from the hook. Now remember we don't count the one that's on our hook. So the second one over. One, two. Single crochet. And now we're going to put one single crochet in every stitch for the length of the chain. All right, I've made it to the end of row one, and you should have a total of 52 stitches now. Row two, we're going to chain one and turn our work. So I want to put a double crochet into the first six stitches. Our very first stitch is going to go right here, this very first spot. Very first double crochet, right into there. So we want six in a row. So that's one, two, three, 
three, four, five, and six. Now the next stitch, we're going to put two double crochets, a chain of one, and two double crochets all into the same stitch. So go right into the next stitch, and we're going to work two doubles, a chain of one, and then two more doubles into the same stitch. I apologize for my white yarn. I know that it's probably hard to see, but I don't want to really have to make the sweater twice because this is the color that I'm using for my daughter's dress. So I'm going to hold it up close so you can see it. So we get our two doubles, chain one, and two doubles. And now what we're going to do is put one double crochet into the next 12 stitches. So starting with the next stitch here, we're going to do 12 in a row. There's one, two, three, Okay, I've got my 12 stitches in a row. Now into the next stitch, we're gonna do our two double crochets, chain one and two double crochets, all into the same stitch. So there's two doubles, chain one, and two more doubles into the same stitch. Now what we're going to do is we're going to work one double crochet into the next 12 stitches again. So there's one, two, three. Okay, I've got my 12 stitches in a row again. So into the next stitch, I'm going to work two double crochets, a chain one, and two double crochets. This is creating the points of the sweater. It's where the increases happen. So I got my two doubles, chain one, and two doubles. Again, I'm gonna put one double crochet into the next 12 stitches. So there's one. two, three, four. Okay, I've got my 12 in a row again. The next stitch, I'm going to put two double crochets, chain one and two double crochets. <clears throat> so there's two doubles, chain one, and then Two more doubles. Now you should have six stitches that remain. Go ahead and put one double crochet in the remaining six stitches. And that will end row two, and you should have a total of 64 stitches now. And this is what it kind of looks like, kind of like a little bit of a square. And it might appear small, that's fine, because it will, it will keep increasing, don't worry about that. Okay. Row two, row three, I'm sorry, that was the end of row two, 64 stitches. Row three, we are going to chain one and turn our work. And now we're going to put one double crochet right here into this very first stitch. And then we're going to put one double crochet in every stitch until we get to our chain one space.
and then in the chain one space we are going to work two double crochets chain one two double crochets into that chain one space so there's my two doubles chain one and two more doubles Now I'm going to work one double crochet in every stitch until I get to my next chain one space. But you want to make sure right here that you get this very first stitch. Sometimes it hides underneath these stitches, it slides over. So slide these stitches back. You got to make sure you get this very first one. Just like that. So one double crochet in every stitch until we get to our next chain one space. All right, I made it back. As you notice, I put a piece of cardboard down here. I know it's extremely tacky and it's certainly not ideal of something I would ever use in one of my video tutorials. I'm very sorry about that, but I just want you to be able to see the stitches better because I know you couldn't see the white very well. So I do apologize <laughs> for it looking pretty cheesy. But I made it back to my chain one space. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put my two double crochets, chain one and two double crochets into that chain one space. And now again, I'm going to put one double crochet in every stitch until I get to my next chain one space. Just like that, all the way over here until I get to my next chain one space. Alrighty, I've made it to my next chain one space and again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put two double crochets, a chain one and two double crochets into that chain one space. And now again, I'm going to work one double crochet in every stitch until I get to my next chain one space. Alrighty, I did my 12 in a row again, and I'm at my last chain one space here, and I'm going to put my two double crochets a chain one and two double crochets into that space. And now I'm going to finish out the row by putting one double crochet in each of the remaining stitches. And when you make it here to the end of row three, you should have a total of 80 stitches now. Ah, still looking, looking square. Semi-square, I guess. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do now for row four is we're just going to kind of repeat what we just did on um, the previous row. We're going to chain one and we're going to turn. And we're going to work one double crochet in every stitch until we get to our chain one space. So starting with this very first stitch. Okay. 
And then in the chain one space, we do our two doubles, chain one, and two more doubles. So I'm just going to kind of repeat what I did on a previous row now. So I did my two doubles, chain one, two doubles. And now I'm going to work one double crochet in every stitch until I get to my next chain one space. And then in the chain one space, I'll work two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. And then it'll be one double crochet in every stitch until we get to our next chain one space. And then it'll be two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet. And then I'll finish, or then I'll put one double crochet again in every stitch to my last chain one space. Then it'll be two doubles, chain one, two doubles. And then I'll finish the row by putting one double crochet in every stitch. So we're just repeating um, for round four what we did on round three. All right, I have made it to the end of row four, and now you should have a total of 96 stitches. So for row five, we're gonna chain one and turn. And now row five is just a repeat of row, what we just did. It's a repeat of row three, and it's a repeat of row four. It's the same thing we've been doing. So we're just gonna put one double crochet in every stitch until we get to our first chain one space. Then we do our two doubles, chain one, two doubles, one double crochet in every stitch to the next chain one space, two doubles, chain one, two doubles, double crochet in every stitch to the next cha chain one space, two doubles, chain one, two doubles, double crochet in every stitch to your last chain one space, double, two doubles, chain one, two doubles, and then one double crochet in every stitch until you get to the end of the row. So just repeat for row five what we just did for rows three and four. All right, I've made it to the end of row five and you should have a total of 112 stitches now. So what we're gonna do for row six is chain one and we're gonna repeat it one more time. So we're just repeating the same thing for row six. This will be the last time that we repeat this. So you probably know what to do. One double crochet in every stitch until you get to your chain one space. And then you put two doubles, chain one, two doubles, and then you just continue with that pattern. So we're just repeating, for row six, we're just repeating what we did for the previous three rows. So I'm gonna keep going and I'll meet back up with you at the end of row six. All right, I have made it to the end of row six. You should have 128 stitches now. And if you lay it out, it kind of probably looks kind of like a square now with the hole in the middle. What we're gonna do for row seven is the armholes now. So we're just going to chain one and turn our work. So I'm gonna work one double crochet in every stitch until I get to my first chain one space. So we're working the armhole row now on row seven. So one double in every stitch until I get to my first chain one space. Okay, I've made it to my chain first chain one space. So what I wanna do now is I'm gonna go right into that chain one space and I'm gonna work two double crochets. That's it, just two double crochets into the chain one space. So there's one and there's two. Now I'm gonna skip all these stitches and in my next chain one space, I'm gonna work two double crochets. So skipping all these, I kind of just take my piece, fold it over like this, and I'm gonna work two double crochets into this chain one space. And that's all. That's our armhole, our first armhole. Now I'm gonna work one double crochet in every stitch across, this is the back of the cardigan, until I get to my next 
chain one space. So one double in every stitch until I get right over here to my next chain one space. Alrighty, I've made it to my next chain one space. I'm going to go right into that chain one space and I'm going to work two double crochets. That's all I'm going to work into it. And then I'm going to skip all these stitches again and into my next chain one space I'm going to work two double crochets. So skipping all these stitches, just kind of fold your work in half like this. And in this chain one space, work two double crochets, and then you'll have your second armhole. And then we just work one double crochet in every stitch until we get to the end of the row. All right, I've made it to the end of row seven. And now you should have of 72 stitches now. So that's not counting any of these that we skipped. It's just these right here all along. So what we're gonna do for row eight is chain one and turn our work. And now we're just going to work one double crochet in every stitch across until we get to the end of the row. So there's no more increasing anymore. We've already got our armholes made. So now it's just kind of building the length of our, of our sweater to what we want it to be. By doing back and forth rows of one double crochet in every stitch. There's nothing special when you get to the armholes. You just continue and you just work one double crochet in these stitches. And keep going until you get to the end of the row. Alright, so once you make it to the end of row 7, you should have 72 stitches still. And now you just want to do back and forth rows of one double crochet in every stitch. So you just chain row 8, you just chain 1 and turn. One double crochet in every stitch across till you get to the end. And you'll have 72 stitches still. And you just keep repeating that. So we're just going to keep repeating row 7. Now this is the part that is completely up to you. You can do your sweater as for as long as you want it to be. If you want it to be a shorter little sweater, um, you can do that. If, or, or a little bolero. Or you can even make it a full size cardi. It's up to you. I'm going to make mine, since it's going over a dress, a shorter type sweater. So I only did... A total of 11 rows starting from row one I now have finished out my 11th row I still have 72 stitches what I'm gonna do is put a row of shells now to kind of match the dress this will be my ending row but if you want yours longer so the child can wear it you know just as a regular cardigan if they're not wearing it over a uh, dress by all means you can make it as long as you want but i'm going to quit here since mine's just for a dress that's just my preference you do yours however you want but i'm at, i finished my 11th row and now i'm going to do some shell edging so i'm going to chain one and turn my work which i already did here okay so this is row 12. what i want to do is put a double crochet into the very first stitch Now I'm going to skip two stitches. So skip, skip, and in the next stitch, I'm going to work a shell. So what I'm going to do is put, I skip two, skip, skip. I'm going to work three double crochets. Chain of two, 
and then three more double crochets. So that's how we're doing the shells on this cardigan. It matches the shells on the dress. Now I'm going to skip two stitches again. Skip, skip, and single crochet into the next. And I'm going to kind of repeat that. So I'm going to skip two stitches, skip, skip, and shell into the next. Skip, skip, shell. So three doubles. Chain two, and then three more doubles. Skip two, skip, skip, and single into the next. Repeat that again. Skip two, skip, skip, and shell into the next. So it's three doubles. Chain of two. And three more doubles. And I'm going to repeat this pattern all the way across until I get to the end of the row. Skip two again. Skip, skip, and single into the next. Skip two, skip, skip, and shell into the next. So I'm going to finish out row 12 by repeating this pattern. That's what it kind of looks like there. All right, I'm coming to the end of row 12. I just did my last shell and I have three stitches left. I want to skip the two of them and in the last stitch, I'm going to do a double crochet. And that'll end row 12. You should have 12 um, shells and I'm going to go ahead and tie off. And I'm going to hide this tail and then we can start on the sleeves. All right, now to do the sleeves, since my sweater is so white and you can't hardly see it, and the sleeves can be a little bit tricky there right at the beginning around the armpit area, I'm going to sh show you um, a clip of a previous video of the same sleeves made in a different color. So what you're going to see is the exact same sleeves that I am putting on my sweater, only made with a different color yarn and a different color hook. Never mind the yarn, never mind the hook, just follow what the sleeves say, how to make them, and it's the exact same ones that I made for this sweater. I just, you'll just be able to see it better with um, this video. And both sleeves are made the exact same way. I'm going to get your yarn, and let's look what we got here. Okay. We're going to start right here in this chain space not in the stitch but this is the chain space so go right through there and that's where we're going to start our yarn Oops. so we'll start by chaining one now we're going to go right back into that same chain space and we're going to work a double crochet just like that. Now we're going to work double crochet two together. So you see this spot here. This is the a double side of a double and then this little spot here. We're going to double crochet those two together. So what we're going to do is we're going to yarn over. I kind of go wiggle right into that side of that double crochet just a little bit. That way there's not a big gaping hole like that and draw up a loop. I'm going to yarn over and go through the first two loops on my hook. Now I'm going to yarn over again and I'm going to go into this next spot which is right here. See where I'm going into this hole here and draw up a loop 
and I'm going to yarn over and go through the first two loops on my hook. Now I'm going to yarn over and go through all three loops. Now I'm going to do that again. And I'm going to do it in this, with this spot right here, and kind of like wiggle my way through the side of this double crochet, just like we did over there. So I'm going to yarn over, go into this spot, and drop a loop, and yarn over and go through the first two loops. I'm going to yarn over, and I kind of just, this is a side of a double kind of crochet here, I think. Can we just kind of wiggle halfway through it? Draw up a loop. Yarn over and go through the first two, and then yarn over and go through all three, just like that. Now, we want to put one double crochet into this chain space here, not right here through the space. And now it's one double crochet in every stitch. Make sure you get this first stitch here. Now you'll be able to see, see the stitches a lot easier. That first row is kind of tricky. So it's one double crochet all the way around now until we get back to where we started. Okay, I'm coming all the way around. Here's where I started in this chain space. Don't forget to get this last stitch. Don't, because sometimes it gets a little hidden. But you got to make sure you get that last stitch there. And now we're going to end round one of the sleeve. That's what we just did by slip stitching into our first double crochet. And you have, you should have 36 stitches now. So now we're going to start round two of the sleeve by chaining one. And we're going to work one double crochet right back into that same stitch. Now we're going to do a double crochet decrease over the next two stitches. So we're going to yarn over and go into the next stitch and you drop a loop. Yarn over and go through the first two loops on your hook. Yarn over and go into the next stitch. Drop a loop. Yarn over and go through the first two loops. And then yarn over and go through all three just like that now we're just going to work one double crochet in every stitch around until we get back to the beginning Okay, I've made it all the way around into round two. You want to end with a slip stitch into your first double crochet, and now you'll have 35 stitches. For round three, we're going to chain one, and what we want to do is we're going to do one double crochet into the first five stitches, and then we're going to do a double crochet decrease. So we're going to go right back into the very same spot that we just slip stitched into and double crochet so that counts as one two three four and five now we're going to decrease over the next two so yarn over go into the next one drop a loop yarn over go through the first two loops Yarn over, go into the next stitch, drop a loop, yarn over, go through the first two, and then yarn over and go through all three. And that's what we're going to repeat all the way around. One double crochet into the next five. And double crochet decrease over the next two. Just like that. Repeat it again. One double crochet in the next five and then double crochet decrease. Double in the next five and double crochet decrease all the way around until you get back to your starting point. Okay, I've made it back to my starting point, 
at the end of round three. Now you should have ended in a decrease and then we're gonna end round three by slip stitching into our first double crochet. And now you should have 30 stitches. So we're gonna start round four by chaining one. So rounds four and five are done the same way. It's just one double crochet in every stitch all the way around. So we start by putting double crochet into our very first stitch and then one double crochet in every stitch all the way around. This is round four. When we get back to the beginning, you'll have 30 stitches still. Just in with the slip stitch into your first double crochet. And then for round five, you just repeat it again. One double crochet in every stitch. So I'm going to go ahead and work rounds four and five, and then I'll meet back up with you as soon as I'm finished. Okay, I've made it to the end of round five. In with the slip stitch into your first double crochet, and you should still have 30 stitches. So for round six, we're going to chain one, and we're going to work one double crochet into the first four stitches, and then we're going to do a double crochet decrease. So go ahead and go right back into the very first stitch. So there's one, two, three, and four. And then we're going to do a double crochet decrease over the next two. Just like that and that's what we're going to repeat all the way around now one double into the next four and double crochet decrease over the next two like that so go ahead and repeat that pattern one double crochet in the next four double crochet decrease all the way around to get back to the beginning okay I'm coming to the end of round six and your last stitch should have been a decrease go ahead and end by slip stitching into your first double crochet like that and now you should have 25 stitches so we're gonna chain one and now rounds seven eight 9, 10, 11, and 12. 7 through 12 are all going to be one double crochet in every stitch all the way around. So we're on round 7. You just work one double in every stitch until you get back to the beginning. You'll always have 25 stitches still at the end of every round. In with the slip stitch into your beginning for your first double crochet chain one and start again. So just work rounds of one double crochet in every stitch until you finish round 12. We're on round seven right now. I'm going to go ahead and work mine and I'll meet back up with you after I finish round 12. All right, I've made it to the end of my 12th round. I'm going to end by slip stitching into my first double crochet. And you still should have 25 stitches. So round 13, I'm going to chain one. And now I'm going to do a double crochet into the first three and then a double crochet decrease. So I'm going to go and double crochet in that first one. So there's one, two, three, and then double crochet decrease over the next two. Just like that. And that's the pattern now for round 13. Double crochet into the next three stitches. One, two, three, and then double crochet decrease over the next two. Double crochet in the next three. And then double crochet decrease all the way around until you get back to the beginning. All right, I come to the end of round 13. You should have ended in a decrease. 
slip stitch into your beginning or your first double crochet and now you should have 20 stitches round 14 we're going to chain one so rounds 14 through 17 now are one double crochet in every stitch so just like we did before work one double crochet in every stitch around for rounds 14 15 16 and 17 you'll have 20 stitches at the end of every round and I will meet back up with you at the end of round 17. All right, I have made it to the end of round 17 and you should still have 20 stitches. So I'm gonna end with a slip stitch into my first double crochet. Now I'm gonna do a few rounds of single crochet. So I'm gonna chain one for round 18. I'm gonna go right back into that same stitch and single crochet and now I'm just going to work one single crochet in every stitch around no more decreasing it's just one single crochet in every stitch around until we get back to the beginning All right, now when you make it back to the beginning, you're gonna wanna use some type of a stitch marker right here. Okay, I made it back to the beginning. You still should have 20 stitches. I'm just gonna use this piece of yarn here and I'm gonna place it right here. That way I know where I end and where I begin. And now I'm just gonna jump right over to the very first single crochet that we made and single crochet into it. So we're on round 19 now. And I'm going to work one single crochet in every stitch around back to my stitch marker. Okay, I made it back to my stitch marker. I'm going to pull it out and move it up. I still have 20 stitches. So round 20 is just going to be, again, one single crochet in every stitch around. Okay, I made it back to my stitch marker at the end of round 20. Now all I want to do is go ahead and slip stitch into the next stitch. You take that stitch marker out because you don't need it anymore. And then I'm going to clip my yarn. And then I'm going to hide my tails. Now remember, both sleeves are worked the exact same way. So go ahead and just work the, the other sleeve the very same way. All right, hopefully you, you were able to see those sleeves better than what I would have been able to show you with this white yarn. Since they were a little tricky there around the start, I want right here, I wanted you to be able to see that. That's why I uh, put that other video in there. But it's the exact same sleeves that I have on here right now. Now what I'm going to do is clean up these edges. So I'm going to start right um down here in the corner of that double crochet okay we're gonna go into the top of it this double crochet and we're gonna chain one okay we're not gonna go back into it we're gonna go into this is still the the double crochet we're gonna kind of go kind of in between and do a single crochet just kind of wiggle my hook through what I'm going to do now is work two, I'm going to try my best, to work two single crochets to every double crochet all the way up the side. You just do your best to try to find the double crochet here and just kind of evenly space out your single crochets, working two singles to every double. Now it does not have to be exact, just do the best that you can. 
all we're doing is cleaning up the edges of our sweater here so you can see I'm just kind of trying to find my double crochets and I'm trying to do two single crochets to every double and it's not going to be perfect I'm not going to get it exactly right but because it's hard to see hard to judge so just do your best to kind of evenly space them out we're going to do this all the way up this side Now when we get to the top, we're going to go around the collar and then back down the other side. Once you make it up here though to the top, so I've made it to the top here. So I cleaned up that edge there the best I could. I'm going to work, got one more stitch here three single crochets in this top stitch. That's just going to round the corner a little bit. Like that. And then I'm going to work one single crochet in every stitch along the top or around the collar until I get to the other side. So you should be able to see your stitches pretty well up here. So I'm just going to continue working one single crochet all the way around the collar until I get around to where I'm going to start the other, going down the other side. I'll meet back up with you over there. Okay, I've made it over here to the other side. So what I've done is I went up, we started down here, I went up this side all around the collar. I'm at the corner here and then we're going to work down this side but I'm going to put three single crochets in this last corner here like we did on the other side that just helps around the corner and now I'm going to continue down this last side evenly spacing out my single crochets again working two single crochets to every double crochet the best that I can. Just space them out as evenly as possible. And I'm going to do this until I get all the way down to the bottom of this side. Okay, I'm coming down here to the bottom and here at my last double crochet, I'm just going to slip stitch right into the top of that last double crochet. Now, I'm not going to count how many stitches I have because mine's probably going to be different than yours since we just evenly spaced it out. It's fine. The amount of stitches that you have right now, it, it doesn't really matter. As long as you just tried your best to get your stitches evenly spaced out. That's all that matters. So, now the last thing that you want to do is sew a button on of some sort you can use a hook and eye closure if you want like right here and maybe put a flower here or something i'm going to use a button i think um i haven't really decided which one i want to use yet but anyways you just sew your button on i don't know you just sew your button on with um right up here to this first row of double crochet like that and then you would use uh right this over here as a buttonhole bring it over like that so that's how that's going to work so i'm going to go ahead and decide what button i'm going to use and get sewed on 
Okay, that is it. Once you get your button sewed on, I just use this double crochet over here row as a buttonhole. And then you got a cute little sweater or bolero, whatever you call it, for your dress. See? Probably look better when it's on my daughter, but maybe we can kind of get the idea. There we go. Yeah, I think it's going to be pretty cute. Yeah, it's hard to get it situated and how it's really going to lay, but something on the lines of that. So I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Remember, I'll put a link to this dress have you, in case you've seen this sweater first and you decide you want to make this dress below in the description box. Um, and also, uh, don't forget to check out all my other tutorials. I have hundreds and hundreds of tutorials. Uh, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you could. I really appreciate that. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you look up in the left hand corner right now, you will see a picture of my face. If you just click right there on my face, you'll automatically be subscribed. And you'll never miss any of my updates. So thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And until next time, have a good day.